Nature Girl 30 here, guys. And yes, this is my hair. I, it's, it's not fake or anything. I just got a texturizer because, come on, having natural for seven years kind of gets to you at the time. And you kind of miss your hair being manageable. So, yes, I had a texturizer put on. I haven't watched it yet, so it's kind of like this. But anyway, guys, this is my mini Q&A. I think it's number 47, but don't quote me on that because my brain has been everywhere. <laughs> and I'm kind of happy that it is towards the end of the year, guys. Seriously, a year has flew by that fast. We are approaching 2014 as we speak. I am doing this on a Sunday. New Year's is on a Tuesday. Well, New Year's Eve is on a Tuesday, I think. Or is it New Year's Day? Either or. New Year's Eve is on a Tuesday. We are about, I'm, I'm seriously crunk about 2014, guys. I have so many ideas that are popping out of my head right now. I have three dis discussion questions that I want to throw out there that I'm probably going to put out either two towards the beginning of the year and one before New Year's Eve. Then I have a whole lot of countdown questions, I mean countdown um, videos. I have a lot of things that kind of pump, pumped in my head and I really haven't been able to do them lately. So hopefully I'll be able to do them now. But anyway, guys. Thank you for sticking with me for this amount of time. And I know that my Q&As have been random, but I thank you guys so much for sticking with me. Mr. Griffith is actually sending me tweets as we speak with his questions. And that's what that big sound is. But anyway, um, let's get started with this Q&A. I might as well get started with Mr. Griffith's questions. He actually sent me three, asked me four instead of three. But let's get started with his um, this is from Mr. Griffin, and his first question for me is, what do you think of AJ, what do you think of the current situation with AJ Styles and him not being in TNA anymore? Honestly, I think it's a, I really think it's awesome. This is something that the WWE should have done with CM Punk. Like with the whole Summer Punk, it, his, his epic work literally got people tuned in to what was going to happen next. He kicked down the fourth wall and walked it dry. The only mistake that they made is they had CM Punk come back too early. With AJ Styles, they're playing it out really well. I think it's awesome. The fact that he won and took the belt with him, and now they have to scramble to have another one made, I think it was the best way to go. It's a great part of the storyline. Unfortunately, not a lot of people really care much about TNA because the product is kind of bad. Well, it's not really bad, but the product is kind of, man, mediocre compared to WWE. But I really think that it was a great part of the storyline, and I'm hoping that they carry this out. And I really think that they're doing a great job when it came to that. But yeah, that's a great question, man. Your next set of questions for me is, um, <laughs> okay, I don't know, uh, I don't know if this won't happen, but I'd like to hear your opinion on the Divas Royal Rumble match uh, with the winner getting a shot at uh, WrestleMania 30. Um, honestly. I'm really happy that they're trying to do something with the Divas because, let's face it, the Divas have really not truly had the Royal Rumble moment. They either got paired up with, uh, they either got paired up with a celebrity or a tag team match or nothing at all. But seeing how the fact that they have their own Royal Rumble match really shows that they're doing something with the Divas division. They should at least have their moment to where they win at WrestleMania. That's how I personally feel. It shouldn't be for Nine of Champions. It should be for WrestleMania. The, the, the girls... I mean, the Divas deserve to have the WrestleMania moment, too. So I'm kind of thrilled about it. And I really do hope that they have two competitors go at it because WrestleMania is like the Super Bowl of wrestling. Like, they have to bring a good A game. So whoever wins is going to be AJ Lee versus an awesome opponent. And I'm hoping that it'll be Tamina, her versus Tamina, or her versus um, uh, Natalia. And even though Natalia is somewhat boring, I will say that she will bring the pain when it comes to when anything is on the line. So I'm actually looking forward to for that happening. Seriously. I'm I'm really looking forward to it. But who knows? It might be a Bella. I'm hoping it's not going to be a Bella. But if it's Brie, I'm fine with Brie. I'm fine with Brie. Nikki needs a little work. But she's still good. But if, even if it's Brie, I'll be fine with Brie. But let's move on from there. Jason David Frank, or a.k.a. Tommy, has been trying to get a PG-13 version of uh, Power Rangers fi um, for film going. Um, do you think a PG version will work? No! <laughs> Let's face it, okay? Alright, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, yes, was somewhat of an anime. I think it was an anime. Yeah, no, it was a manga. But 
Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was supposed to be dark. It was made to be dark. I know that has nothing to do with Power Rangers, but I have a point here. When you develop something that's meant to be dark and you try to make it lighter and goofier, it's fine if it goes dark because it was meant to be dark. Power Rangers was not meant to be dark. You got a whole bunch of folks that had so many colors with different powers. How are you going to make it dark? And let's face it, PG-13 means dark. <laughs> PG-13 to rated R means dark. That's what it means. That's what it's going to forever mean. So, no, it will not work. I mean, that's just me. And also, with profanity, come on. With PG-13, it might not be, I mean, it might not be nudity, but it'll probably either sexual situations or profanity or, or, or um, I don't know, adult language. Why have adult language in a Power Rangers film? Please, no, no, please, no, it won't work. Um, and your fourth question for me is, I've always felt, um, I always felt there's, okay, I always felt there was a certain version of Power Rangers that could have been a little edgier. Which ones, um, uh, which ones would have done it in your view? Um, honestly, none of them. Like, they're not meant for adults. They're meant for kids. That's what they're meant for. They're cheesy, they're hokey, they're corny, they're... The transitions from human to superhuman takes forever long. It's just not meant for adults. And even if you did put a little bit of edge in there, it just won't work because it's just too hokey. Like, for those that, have, that know anime, for those that have watched anime shows, for those that actually seen, um, like, Sailor Moon or anything like that, like I mentioned in my last Q&A, the, the, the Magical Girl anime is meant for girls, just like... Power Rangers is meant for both. The colors are meant for girls. The action, meant for boys. It's not meant for adults. And even if you try to make it edgier, it won't work. It's just too corny. That's just how I see it. It will not work. It will never work. But anyway, Mr. Griffin, you are awesome, man. Thank you for sending me those questions. I hope I answered them to the best of my ability and not drag it out too long. But, dude, you are awesome. Keep sending those questions. My next set of questions actually comes via YouTube, and I have many of those, so I'm going to try to get through them as much as I can without hitting the 15-minute mark. But let's get started with GDGD1989. Um, your question for me is, um, what if a genie hovers in front of you and a genie offers you, offers you four wishes with consequences and, uh, and asks you to pick which one below and why? Um, the first wish for me would be, that I will be rich beyond my wildest dreams, but I won't be able to see or hear. Your second wish for me is that I will have eternal youth, but my penis will be inactive. Yeah. Um, or is this for you? I, I don't know. But uh, you will be the most handsome man in the world, but you would not you would have the worst breath in the world. Uh, yeah. And your fourth wish is just to tell the gene to go away. Number one, I'm not a dude. <laughs> I don't look like a dude. I have boobs like every other chick on the planet. And number two, I don't have a penis. So that's irrelevant. I'm not mad. I'm just joking around here. But no, that's irrelevant to me because I don't have a penis. Number two, I'm not a handsome man and I don't want a kicking breath. And number three, well, I want to be able to see and hear. So I'm fine being broke. So honestly, I would tell the genie to go somewhere, or I'll probably just take that little lip and give it the boot, just like um, genie, genie did with Jafar in the first movie, and he just flipped it across the world. That's probably what I'm going to do, is just get rid of the thing. Um, interesting question for a guy, but thanks so much for sending it, man. Keep sending questions. Your questions are very interesting. The next set of questions actually comes from Final Limits. Uh, what did you get for Christmas, and name all your presents. Uh, which ones did you like or dislike the most and from whom? Um, well, if I can remember them all. From my dad, I got a doorknob. And I love that because I really needed to get a, a new deadbolt and a doorknob for my door here. And I actually put it on and I loved it. Because I could never get out that back door because I have two dogs. So my crates are kind of blocking the door to laundry room. And that's, a, that's another way out. And I hate going through the front. So I like going through the back, and that actually does help me to have a, an access to another access going back and forth without having to cut through my dogs 
or without having to go to the front. I have a new access, so I love that gift. Um, I forgot what my mom gave me, but I know my sister gave me like a little vanity purse, and it was pretty cute. I think my mom got me a purse. Yeah, she got me a uh, and uh, and and she got me an Anne Klein purse. It was very nice, very nice Anne Klein purse, really nice. And she also got me a bunch of jewelry as well as a manicure kit. I think she got me that. But I liked all my gifts. I really did appreciate it the most. And my nephew got me a little pair of earmuffs, pink earmuffs, and I thought it was cute. I don't, I didn't dislike many of my gifts. I thought they were very useful and very nice. Um, but yeah, thanks for the question. Your other set of questions for me is, what do you think of, of Justin Bieber spraying the wall in Brazil? He's trying too hard. Let's face it, Justin Bieber is just as irrelevant as, well, he's just irrelevant. Like, seriously, he's trying to make himself known, and he's trying to find himself in the strangest of ways. I don't know why he's trying to get all thuggy on us, but honestly, he's not being a thug if the if the um, hotel actually asked you to graffiti their wall. You're not really thuggy, dude. You need to keep working on that. What do you think of, of Smooth McGroove? I love Smooth McGroove! That guy is so freaking cool! The fact that he could literally sing the themes to my favorite video games is awesome. My favorite one is um, the moon from um, from DuckTales. I, and he actually did it so well. He did that. He did Dire Dire Docs from, um, from Super, Super Mario 64. He actually did the, chem, uh, the chemical plant from um, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. It is awesome. If, for, for you guys that have not heard this guy... I am going to link all of the, the videos that I just described in the description box. You guys have to check him out. You guys have to su subscribe to him. Even though he's not hurting for subscriptions, he's still an awesome guy to listen to. And I'm going to actually put all those down. If I can find them, I'll actually put them in the description box so y'all can check them out. Um, the next set of questions that you have for me is, what do you think the, the, what do you think Hodge Twins would look like if they, if they had afros in 2009? Um... Hodge twins, they got curly hair. So anything will work on them. They'll actually look pretty cute. They're still cute. So they can have curly hair, box top, ball head. I don't care. They'll still be hot to me. Uh, what are your thoughts on T-Swift? <laughs> um, what are your thoughts on T-Swift? Do you like and respect her or do you hate and, and don't respect her? Um, she's being her age now. Like before she was an old spirit. I know I said this before. She acted like she was a lot older than who she is. But now she's actually acting her age. So no, I don't really hate her at all. It's just that she's acting her age. And that's normal. So, I mean, the fact that she's making money off of her exes is something that nobody else has ever thought of. But she's going to run out of exes and run out of things to sing about. But honestly, when she runs out, that's when you're going to see the real Taylor come out and see her talents and everything and what she can really put on the table. So I'm really hoping that the, that the exes are going to run out. So when she actually does find happiness, let's see what her true talents come out. That's how I see it. But um, awesome set of questions, man. Awesome set of questions. Um, your next, gosh, you sent me a lot, man. Um, <laughs> who is the creepiest member of the Wyatt family? Dude, all of them. Well, actually... The creepiest member, of course, is Bray Wyatt. The fact that Bray Wyatt has pulled a Baldo every time he goes in the ring. And for people that don't know who Baldo is, he's the creepy guy. I think he's supposed to be a hell spawn or something that's all in bondage gear. And he can bend himself in many ways with, with, with like, Edward Scissorhand-like hands. And he does that whole back bend every time he gets in there. And I'm sorry, the fact that he, like, wall crawls with his head facing you is creepy. So, yes, Bray Wyatt, hands down, creepy. The other two are just a bunch of minions. Um, who is your favorite member of the Wyatt family and why? Bray Wyatt, of course. Because, honestly, Bray Wyatt is the type of character that demands attention from the crowd. And he gets it. No matter how much you can't stand him, he will silence you just by speaking. And this guy is new. Like, it's not that he's been there for several years. He's fresh out of NXT. And that's a phenomenal talent, um, in my opinion. And the fact that who's ever writing his script it, it knows how to write a script for a psychotic kill. Because you haven't seen a psychotic kill since Kane back during the Attitude Era. So, honestly, I love Bray Wyatt for that reason. 
even if he doesn't have anybody to feud with, you will develop a feud for this guy. And the fact that he has those two minions, um, 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 uh, raw, uh, uh, those other two, I can't remember their name off the top of my head, but I'm, I'm sorry, that guy's awesome. He can play the part really well. I hope he can shut it off when he goes home. That'll be sad. Okay, and my last set of questions actually comes from Real Herald. Um, your question for me is, has WWE 13 ever froze while installing or during gameplay while Nature Girl 30 was playing? No, because I actually got the game. Like, I didn't, I didn't get it from Xbox Live. I actually got the game, and I really haven't had problems with freezing. But honestly, on the real, my nephew has played WWE 13 more than I have. I've just been too busy. And he wanted to play for Christmas, kept harassing me about it, so I kind of left it to him. So now he's playing the crap out of it, or actually now he's playing Madden and kind of forgot all about it. But either or, no, I hadn't had any problems. Um, why does Nature Girl 30 misspell some people's names most of the time? I misspelled your name? I didn't think I was able to misspell your name. Um, what did Nature Girl 30 get for Christmas? Um, just like I said before, I got a purse, I got a, um, I got a makeup bag, I got some jewelry, I got air muffs, and I also got a doorknob and a deadbolt. So, yeah, that's what I got for Christmas, and I love it. But thanks, guys, so much for sending me these questions. I am over the 15-minute mark, but I had to get these questions out. These, this is my final one for 2013, guys. It's, this is awesome. Because I'm so excited about 2014. And I've already said how excited I am. But guys, I want to know how you personally feel about it. So if you want to talk about it, leave it in the comment section below. And keep sending me questions via YouTube, via Twitter, or on my, if you have a wrestling question, send it to my Wrestling Fan Nation page. I will get to it. Seriously, I will. I will do my best. But guys, thanks so much. Have a happy new year and peace out.